Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm Max G-Man back here. Um, I'm just gonna let the video do the talking. So, first you start off with Future Fusion. Go into uh, Zephros and uh, Neos. Um, doesn't really matter which hero you choose, just a hero. Uh, you bounce back Future Fusion with Zephros, pay the 400, you know, that's all. Birds coming back and all that. Uh, activate Future Fusion again, you're gonna dump Plague and a hero. This video is just gonna show you why Future Fusion should be banned. Shit like this shouldn't be able to happen because one card exists. Anyway, we're gonna banish the plague and send the Zephyros to the grave to Synchro Sokum into a Brio. Uh, we're gonna discard, get our Future Fusion back, activate Future Fusion again. Let's see, that's the second time we've used it this turn. Uh, nope, third time. Then we're gonna target uh, our Dark E hero. Uh, I'm sorry, our Gem Knight Fusion. Um, we're gonna dump Lazuli and an Aqua Spirit to the graveyard. Lazuli's effect will let you get the Aqua Spirit back to your hand. Um, this will give you discard fodder for Brio. Uh, bounce back, Future Fusion, and we're gonna use it for the fourth time. And we're gonna dump, what do you know, uh, uh, Ally Mind and a Hero. Um, this is basically gonna help you later down the road. It's all part of the whole combo. So you're gonna bounce back Future Fusion again, and you're gonna use it for the fifth time. Um, now you're gonna dump an Aqua Spirit and another Gem Knight Lazuli. And Lazuli's effect is gonna kick in again, and it's gonna get back your uh, Aqua Spirit to your hand. It doesn't really matter which vanilla you choose, you're just gonna end up discarding one. Um, it only matters on the final time you use Lazuli's effect. So you're gonna use Future Fusion again for the sixth time. Uh, you're gonna dump a level eater and a hero. Um, shuffle, discard, Future Fusion, activate it for the seventh time. You're gonna dump a, I'm pretty sure it was a Gem Knight Lazuli and an Aqua Spirit for the third and final time. Now, you're gonna use Gem Knight Lazuli's effect this time to get back Ally Mine. Uh, this is where it's important which vanilla you choose to get back to your hand because now you're going to use Level Eater's effect to eat a level off Brio to make Brio level 5. And you're going to summon uh, Ally Mine. Um, now you're going to discard for Future Fusion, and you're going to activate it. I don't even... I lost tra track of how many times I used it in this video already. Um, but you're going to send two things to the grave, Dandy and the Hero, for Gaia. Uh, you're going to get your two tokens and Synchro into a Powerful Dragon. Obviously, you're assuming your opponent doesn't play Effect Mailer or Warning or anything of that sort. But, uh, continuing off this ridiculous combo that can only exist with Future Fusion, um, you're gonna select one out of three of the same cards for your opponent to add to your hand. Yeah. Uh, then you're gonna activate your Symbols of Heritage that you so conveniently added to your hand with Power Tool to Special Summon one of your three copies in the grave of Aqua Spirit. Now you're gonna eat a level off of Power Tool, making it level 6 going into a formula synchron. Um, you special formula, you draw your card, right? Now you're gonna special summon a level eater again from your graveyard and making power tool a level five. You have two level five synchros now and a level two synchro tutor. Um, yeah. You summon shooting Quasar Dragon for absolutely no freaking reason. Future Fusion needs to get banned. If it can do stuff like this, imagine what it can do with the new Mermail archetype coming out. So tell me what you think, like, comment, and peace.